What's up YouTube? Drew here and this is kind of a review I guess more just uh, a video to make you guys aware of the chassis ear by Steelman. So what this basically is is it's an amplifier that has six inputs and one output to headphones which are useless. I'm gonna get a nice set of like in-ear uh, style ones. It'll spare up some uh, space inside the container which I'll show you. Um, and also, you know, these are just kind of uncomfortable, but so basically all this thing is, I say all it is, I mean, I couldn't make one, they did, it's a hundred bucks and I'd spend it again and again. It's microphones like that. They're on a clip and what you do is you set them up underneath your vehicle, on your motor, anything that you want to diagnose where a sound is coming from. So I've used these things to, you know, connect to like, uh, control arms, you know, one on a tie rod, one on a strut, basically just load up underneath, put, you know, all six microphones on, on one wheel to identify, you know, where a sound's coming from. You're driving in the car, you're replicating the sound and you, you change which channel you're listening to and it'll be clear as day. You'll know what I mean if you actually buy one and try it. On this particular job, you see I only use two. I have a horrible humming sound coming from what I thought was the differential, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a wheel bearing. So I had one clipped on one of the bolts that um, hold the ball joint assembly, which is massive on this Tundra. One of those, you know, big, uh, I think it's a 19 millimeter bolt head. There's two of them. I had one clipped on that, and I had one clipped on one of the arms that hold in the differential. Uh, this is the new one that's going in it, right? So I had one clipped on there. Uh, actually, it was inside there, so it was on the other side, right? So I'm driving down the road, and you know I'm listening to the normal sounds that you would hear from a wheel bearing, and I flip to the one that was connected to the differential, and it was like, Wah! absolutely amazing, uh, you know how easy it was to figure out what my problem was. And just recently, I was on a 2002 Camry, and there was like a g -g 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 -g, like this loose clanking sound over bumps. And uh, I, you know, I clipped it on everything underneath when I got to the one for the sway bar link, which I thought wasn't the problem. Uh, when I got to the one for the sway bar link, it was obvious, super, super obvious that that's what it was. So I had like a $9 fix. So this is the container that it comes in. Um, nothing too special here. Um, the only downside of this, I mean, the quality is not great. It feels kind of like Dollar Tree, um, you know, all the the bits and the pieces, the amplifier, whatever. Um, like all the wires don't fit inside of this bag. But like I said, I'm gonna get uh, a better pair of headphones, just in-ear headphones and keep them in here and toss those other ones. But this is what one of the microphones looks like. Uh, if, you, if you could spend the money, I, I didn't you know, know how useful this tool was gonna be or I would have, uh, go wireless because you know, you, you gotta make sure that all the moving parts underneath your car don't like catch the wires and rip them off or worse, it goes around the wheel and destroys your tool. So uh, another thing I'm gonna keep in here is a roll of masking tape. As you see, I uh, taped them, pardon the soda there. I taped them to the vehicle and uh, I use tie wraps as well. So I'm gonna keep a bunch of tie wraps inside there. But this thing is absolutely invaluable. I mean, if you're like me, I'm a decent, you know, a decent diagnoser, I suppose. You know, I'm a, I get, you know, not to flatter myself, but I do this all day, every day. I'm, you know, a, a decent technician, right? So, um, but I struggle sometimes finding, like on something like this Tundra, I mean, to find out what's clunking, that's not the issue here. That's not why I'm working on it. But, you know, I mean, say I had a clunk, right? To find out what's clunking, these are massive pieces. And to try, try to find where that is before it's, you know, catastrophically failed, is, is sometimes really difficult, but with those clips, you just clip it on. You know, I mean, even if you gotta go crazy, like I've thought like in, in one case, I had nothing to clip it to, just, you know, tack weld a, a bolt on there and clip it to the bolt for now. You know, maybe not something you do at a customer's car if you're a professional, but one of my own, I don't care. Um, you know, just absolutely useful tool. So I'll show you guys again what that looks like. Just, again, not the highest quality piece here, but it does the job. Um, you know, in fit and finish, I mean, six inputs from those microphones, one output to headphones, which again, suck, but I'm gonna, you know, get better ones. Absolutely, I mean, this thing cost $100. Every, even DIY level person, you know, like you know, we're a family, we own a car dealership, so we, we do a lot of car work, but you know, my truck here, this is my Tundra, this has 200,000 miles on it, and my wife's Honda Odyssey out there, that has almost 200,000 miles on it, so, you know, even if, if we didn't own the dealership and, you know, like that Acura and that Prius and this JDM car from Japan and all these other cars, even if we just had these two, 
um, I could justify absolutely the $100 to own this and it just cut down your diagnostic time in half. So anyways, this is Drew. This is a review or again, just a demonstration, a uh, an overview and, a, and an awareness video about the Steelman six channel um, chassis ear is what it's called. So if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna try to post a link to where I bought this in the description. I think I bought it directly from their website because that was actually the best price. Um, but if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. We're trying to grow this channel and make it a bigger part of what we do because there's a lot of stuff that I just, uh, you know, I want to share with everybody, um, you know, tips, tricks, faster, better ways to, to fix Toyotas and Hondas. So again, if it's helpful, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.